Well, here we go. A device that has long interested me, but which I haven't had a chance to experience until now, the Mister. And before I go any further, I want to thank the individual who sent this to me. You know who you are, and I truly can't thank you enough. Your generosity in gifting this device was very selfless and kind. This is something I've had my eye on for a while, and it certainly isn't cheap hardware. So again, thank you for sending me this. So what is this thing? Honestly, I could regurgitate a ton of information to you about FPGAs or field programmable gate arrays, but I'll spare you and drop links to the wiki and retro RGBs right up in the description. For the purposes of today, I can be honest and say this is relatively new to me and I'm still learning as well, which is in part why I wanted to make this video, but simplistically, an FPGA device is hardware replication. And that's a key difference from what I think a lot of people are used to with a Raspberry Pi and other types of software emulators, including what you'd find running the popular Mini and Classics from Sega, Nintendo, and some other companies. From a more mainstream and retail perspective, most people are probably most familiar with Analog's line of products like the Super NT, Mega SG, or NT Mini. These are all FPGA-based systems replicating their original hardware counterparts. Again, I'm oversimplifying things here, but my understanding of software emulation is that it's based on lines of code running sequentially. So for software emulation to work, it has to execute and jump from emulating one chip to another at high speed, whereas where FPGA, everything is put online in parallel like an original hardware. So that is as deep as I'm going to go. I'm not going to get into debating emulation, replication, and simulation terms here. Just know the key difference is that FPGA aims to replicate hardware by running everything in parallel. With that said, in order to be successful, FPGA of course relies on those who work on its various cores. Ultimately, like most things, the experience will only be as good as its designer. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's get to the fun stuff. I did mention that I was a novice with all this, but really, things here are really easy to set up. If you've ever set up a Raspberry Pi before, then this will be a walk in the park. I'll link the setup guide that I followed in the description. Basically, all you really need to do is download an image file, write it to an SD card with a tool like Win32 Disk Imager, and then pop it into your mister and turn it on. After that completes, you can run the included updater script to get yourself completely up to date. I will note that I personally like the update all script, which again, I'll link below. And you can see here that the update all script combines seven other updaters along with the main Mr. updater. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite features about Mr. When new cores come out, like the Contra Arcade core did over the holidays, all I had to do was run this script and I pulled in the new core and was playing Contra within minutes. So with that, I'll mention that my interest in this device is almost purely arcade driven, which probably isn't a surprise to you guys, but that doesn't mean that that's all there is to offer here. The Mister is becoming a haven for classic computer cores, which I'm going to have to mess with one of these days. The options already available are just insane. There are tons of vintage systems to tear through for people who want to relive this fork in retro gaming. But of course, most of your favorite consoles are represented here on the Mister as well including some of your popular handhelds like the Game Boy Advance and Game Gear. I'm not a very big portable gaming guy, so this works out in my favor because I'd much prefer to play these with a normal controller on a television, and Mr. of course grants that wish. Again, thinking back to analog, which I'm no stranger to, I have a Super NT and a Mega SG. The Mr. does both of those and a whole lot more in one unit. Even the upcoming analog duo for Turbo Graphics and PC Engine is already covered on Mister. I will say that I'm one who likes to have an option to play physical carts and media, and the Mister isn't going to allow you to do that, but it more than makes up for that by being a convenient all-in-one solution. I really have had to think hard about that concept since getting the Mister because honestly, if you look at my Super NT and my Mega SG, they're both playing host to flash carts, so it's not like I'm even pulling my original carts off the shelf the way I imagined I would. This is my setup 90% of the time, and that just begs the real question, did I really need the option for the cart slot? In just a few short weeks with the Mister, 
I'm not finding really any difference between playing on the analog consoles, except for the fact that I don't have to shift and power on another system. Speaking of consoles, another gracious inclusion to this gift was a pack of USB adapters for many of your favorite controllers. So if you want to play Super Nintendo with a real Super Nintendo controller on Mister, you can do that. Of course, the AES stick and Neo Geo gamepads work great with the Neo Geo Core here as well. I've also used the Arcade Stick Pro, which is simply USB and plugs right in the front. You'll have to configure the controllers you plug in from the main menu, and then once in the various cores themselves, you can assign buttons. It's pretty nice to be able to use original controllers on Mister for their respective consoles. As I noted earlier, however, my big interest in Mister has always been its arcade cores. Multis like the Darksoft CPS2 kit exist for certain types of hardware, but options are still somewhat limited. Factor in cost of collecting PCBs, those boards aging, possible repairs, limited availability in some cases, and there really is a growing need for new modern solutions. Now, sure, there are things like the Pandora's boxes and Pie Dajama, which I hated by the way. I had that for all of two weeks and didn't even bother talking about it or making a video on it. But these are again software emulation solutions. Mister is attempting to up the stakes by offering true hardware replication of these arcade classics to its owners. This opens the doors for arcade enthusiasts to experience perfect or near perfect experiences to that of original hardware. And that's something I think most arcade gamers find very enticing, especially if the Mister could actually be conveniently connected to an actual arcade machine and used to play games. Now, wouldn't that be something? Well, the Mr. Cade, as it's being dubbed, is currently in the works. This is a JAMA and JVS adapter solution that will be available sometime soon to easily connect your Mr. to an arcade cabinet. So overall, you can consider me a new fan of the Mr. I was somewhat of a holdout because what I really wanted this for was playing arcade games on an arcade cabinet. Now, even though the Mr. Cade hasn't been released just yet, I'm finding that the convenience factor of having all of my go-to consoles, including Neo Geo, ready to go at my fingertips on one device is simply something I just never knew how much I was even missing. And for anyone else out there making videos or streaming, I can't even tell you how much easier life is with one device. All your systems over HDMI with one cable and no external scalers. So if you're thinking that this is currently more limited than a RetroPie setup, at least from a game's perspective, you're probably correct. Just remember that FPGA is about accuracy. Now, if that's important to you, then the added cost of this hardware will likely be worth it. So obviously once the Mr. Kate is ready to go, I'll be taking a look at that here on the channel and trying a few things out on the Astro City, maybe test the JVS out on the Blast City as well. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see what options we have available. Until then though, if you're interested in checking out more about Mister, visit the links in the description. If you wanna make the jump into FPGA gaming, definitely visit MrAddons.com. I'll link that site as well. There are tons of parts, accessories, things for sale here, as well as pre-configured setups, which will get you rolling immediately. So yeah, that is Mister. And once again, thanks to that very generous person out there who provided me this unit. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.